Hello Preppers, Pastor back with you. Uh, glad to be back with everyone and uh, have a um, couple of things I want to talk about tonight. Actually one topic, one question and it's going to go a couple of different ways. Uh, I'm going to ask you a question tonight. What if? Now I'm going to approach that question two different ways with you. Um, what if the preppers are wrong in what we're preparing for? What if there's no economic collapse? What if there's no political upheavals or uh, civil unrest? Uh, what if everything uh, miraculously fixes itself and it settles down? What if the skeptics are right? And that's what makes me ask that question. Uh, because as I've been on the internet and been doing research and studies, um, I've seen a lot of skeptical uh, comments. A lot of skeptics uh, have had things to say about prepping, about preppers, uh, and uh, what we stand for, what we do. Uh, a lot of ugly names have been attached to us, which is, that's neither here nor there. Uh, as far as uh, how it how it's going to affect me and I'm sure how it's going to affect uh, any of you. But it did make me ask the question, what if? And I'm asking that question for the benefit of the skeptics. If your skeptics uh, are out there and if you're watching, I hope you are, uh, I want you to listen to this. What if the preppers are wrong? What if nothing happens? Okay, what if we buy all of this food, we've got a year's supply of food, we have a medical um, situation, we have a medical supplies, we have uh, ammunition, we have weapons, we have defense systems in place, we have uh, all sorts of things set aside and uh, we have seed banks and we have everything like that set up and what if we don't need them? What harm has it done? Who have we hurt? No one. We have a year's supply of groceries to fall back on, but we don't have to buy any. We have medical supplies. We don't have to buy any. We have sanitation supplies. We don't have to buy any for a long time. We have garden seed. We don't have to buy any for a long time. We have uh, weapons and ammunition for sports shooting and fun shooting. Uh, we don't have to worry about it for a long time. Who have we hurt? Absolutely no one. Absolutely no one. Now let me ask this question. What if we're right? What if everything we're doing uh, and everything we're talking about and our fears, what if they come to pass? And what if there are problems? What if there are economic issues? What if uh, there is civil unrest and political unrest? Um, what if our worst fears come to pass, and, and, and we hope they don't. I don't know of a prepper that actually hopes they're right. I don't know of one. Everyone I talk to all tell me the same thing. They, they hope they're wrong. They hope they never have to use this stuff for what it's intended for. But in case they have to, it's there. They're ready. Are you? Are you ready? for the worst case situation and scenario. I'm not talking to the preppers tonight, I'm talking to the skeptics. I'm trying to help prepare the prepper uh, to deal with the skeptics in a rational way that may educate them, that may train them. Uh, and then understand, some people you can't teach. Some people are not teachable. Some people have so seared uh, their conscience and their intelligence with the idea that uh, if there is a difficult situation that takes place, Big Brother is just going to step in and take care of us. They're going to be badly mistaken, and you know that, I know that. But for the sake of trying, for the sake of being concerned, which I am, and I know most all preppers are, we're concerned about those around us. We're concerned because people don't take the time seriously that we live in. What if the preppers are wrong? What if we are? Good. We're wrong. 
but we've hurt no one, we've harmed no one, and we're just in that good of a position to help ourselves and to uh, save money. We've actually helped the economy in several ways. One, we've put, put money into the economy by buying this stuff. Second of all, we put money into the economy that we save uh, by uh, investing it in our retirements, investing it in other things, taking vacations, doing things with our families. We've been beneficial all the way around. We've been benefited all the way around by prepping. Now, as a Christian, um, I know there's a lot of uh, uh, really uh, weird ideas going on out there right now about Christians and prepping. Um, religious zealots, extremists, uh, all kinds of real nice names are being thrown around out there about us and about uh, folks like myself. But that's okay. Uh, you can be wrong if you want to. But let me ask you a question. What if the Christian is wrong? What if I'm wrong? When I tell you and talk to you about my biblical worldview of prepping, when I talk to you about my concerns uh, that are coming, uh, where the Bible tells us that there is a tribulation time coming, when there uh, is uh, difficult days ahead that are going to lead into a period that um, uh, a man called the Antichrist is going to be a predominant figure in the world around us, uh, and uh, those that are left behind from the rapture of the church are going to be required to deal with him. Uh, yes, uh, to a, a person who is untrained and unlearned in the scriptures and doesn't know Christian doctrine, it does sound uh, far-fetched. Uh, I admit it could, but uh, what if I'm wrong? What have I heard? Who have I heard? If I follow the teachings of the Bible and I treat people the way I want to be treated, which is a commandment or is a teaching of the, the Lord Jesus Christ, who have I hurt? If I am kind to others and if I'm charitable and I do it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who have I hurt? I've done no one any harm. I've done any, no one any injustice. I've taken nothing wrong from, uh, wrongly and, uh, from anyone. But let me ask you this, if I'm right, if Christians are right, if uh, there is a biblical view of, uh, of what's coming down the road, uh, if there uh, are difficult days ahead, and if God is preparing to pour out his judgment upon the earth through the great tribulation, and if the church is raptured away, where do you stand eternally? Are you really willing to risk the eternal situation of your soul? Are you really willing to risk heaven and hell based upon an opinion, a thought, a feeling? That's what you're doing. If I'm wrong, I've lost nothing. But if I'm right and you're wrong and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you haven't made the greatest preparation of all, you have sacrificed everything because of an opinion. I don't know about you, but I'd rather err on the side of, uh, of right. I'd rather err on the side of being, uh, being prepared for the worst and expecting the best. I'd rather be prepared knowing that I had uh, taken into consideration the well-being of my family, my children, my grandchildren, my parents, uh, the loved ones I have around me, my friends, those uh, that may be depending upon me in times of trouble and difficulty, I'd rather know that I've taken their best interest to heart and kept food and medical supplies and sanitation needs and um, uh, defense mechanisms in place and done everything that I was supposed to do and never needed. I'd also like to know that I'd taken consideration for my eternal condition that I had really put serious thought and consideration into it because regardless of um, how you may want to think about yourself, you will not live forever. There's a day coming when you will die. What comes next? What if? What if I'm wrong? What have I lost? What have I sacrificed? Who have I hurt? I've lost nothing. 
I've sacrificed nothing and I've hurt no one. But what if I'm right? What if the preppers are right? What if the Christians are right? Where do you stand then? What if? It's a question that only you can answer for yourself. It is a question only you can put before your family. It is a question that each person has to deal with individually when it comes to prepping, when it comes to the matters of eternal security, when it comes to all kinds of matters and issues in life. What if? That's the question I leave you with on this video. God bless you is my prayer until next time.